Good morning, you guys. This is It's a Dill Cherry starting her morning off at Lord knows how how early. Um, I'm sitting here at the 99 cent store. I don't know if you can see it in the background right there. I'm sitting here at the 99 cent store waiting for it to open. It's 7.52. They open at 8 o'clock. So I rush in there and get what I got to get in there. And then I'm going to head on down the street to Walmart to pick up my Walmart pickups. <laughs> I'm going to try to turn the camera on when I get in the 99 cent store a little bit. I'm trying to get used to filming vlogs. I want to eventually get into more vlogs where I'm taking you through my day. Um, I'm just a little shy talking to my phone. Um, I, if I do it, I probably won't talk to you guys, but I'll just kind of show you guys. You might hear my voice in the background <laughs> saying, you know, little things here and there. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go to um, Goodwill later on. I'm just, you know, spending my morning, uh, you know, doing the grocery pickups and all that stuff like that. And then I'll have the fun later on in the afternoon. Then I got to get home, of course, and finish up. I'm almost done. Everything's pulled away from the wall. Um, I think I'm going to call 1-800-GOT-TRASH uh, or whatever for them to come pick up my couch and my ikea bookshelf even though the ikea bookshelf is in such great condition but you know what i'm not going to try to sell it i just want them to come get it i, I really I, I, one friend i am going to try to send a uh, um picture to my beautician because she was saying her church might be able to use it so i think i'm going to call her take a picture and show her but it's heavy they're going to have to have somebody that's going to be able to carry that down the stairs because i put that together up there and my nephew had to carry that it's heavy it's really heavy but anyway hopefully they can get somebody strong enough to take it downstairs or i might have to just take it apart and then they have to re-put it together <laughs> but anyway um yeah you guys i'm going to um and not in this but i will talk to you guys when i get to um walmart and i want to show you guys it's cloudy today let me see if i can reverse this I can't. Why can't I reverse it? Y'all, I can't do nothing on this phone. I can't figure out how to reverse it. Let me turn it around. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's cloudy here today. Um, you know, we live on the coast. Long Beach is the coastal area. My face is so puffy because I just woke up, you guys. But um, we're on the coast, and we always get a lot of fog and clouds and stuff. Now, maybe like in the inland towards LA and the mountains and the hills and stuff like that. It's probably cleared up. Um, it's supposed to be like 80s, 90s in other areas. But down here, it's cool. We're by the ocean. We usually stay a little cooler um, until the summer, summer, and then we really heat up. <laughs> but yeah, today's gonna be a very overcast, cloudy day. No rain, of course, um, but uh, they said it might clear up uh, a little later in the afternoon. So anyway, I will talk to you guys when I get to Walmart. Okay, bye. Hey, I'm back. Yeah, so I hope you guys can hear me. That was my first time doing that, um, vlogging in the store. Uh, so I hope you guys can hear me. I was kind of mumbling and, you know, talking low so nobody sees me. <laughs> I guess that's one of the main things that scares me. Put my mask back on. That's one of the main things that scare me is that, um, I don't know why I'm doing this so nobody can see me talking. <laughs> Y'all, I'm just like a little kid. I'm so shy to, you know, to talk and, you know, people be like, who's she talking to? Anyway, um, yeah, so like I said, that was the first time I've done that, gone and vlogged in the store. Um, so yeah, I hope, uh. I hope that turned out okay. <laughs> but I'm on my way now to go to Walmart and pick up my groceries. It is only 8.30. So I got a whole 30 minutes. Um, it's very rare that they'll have, you know, everything ready by now. Sometimes I go and I'm like, well, maybe I should just go in the store and see what I can find. But I don't want to do that. Because um, then I'll really be in there a long time and miss the call <laughs> or miss the text. So I mean, I guess I could just chill out and talk to you guys. To uh, talk to you guys, I don't want to make it such a long video. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna cut it off here, and then I will talk to you guys when I get to Walmart. Okay, so I am at Walmart, waiting. 
and waiting and waiting. I sure hope it ain't one of them days where it take a couple hours for my order comes out because man, it's a lot of cars here. Um, but uh, we'll see. Hopefully, <laughs> pray for me, y'all. Pray that it ain't one of them days where it takes forever. See, I see a guy already coming out of his car and going to ask him where his groceries are. <laughs> you guys, it's crazy. It could be crazy here sometime. One day I waited two hours to get my groceries. I sure hope this ain't the day. I really do. I sure hope this is not the day. I'm going to be highly upset. Look, it's another guy waiting out of his car with his cell phone. Just waiting. Yeah. I, uh, I'm not. I'm going to claim in the name of Jesus that it ain't going to take long, okay? I'll be back with you guys in a minute. Y'all ain't going to believe this. So I finally got my groceries at 9 o'clock. Right on time. They were early. I was wrong. They were early. I didn't have to wait. So why did I get home? and pull all, well not all of them, but half, most of the groceries upstairs to my back door and realized before I can even gra try to even grab my keys, I realized I locked myself out the house. So then I had to go all the way across town, all the way to the west side of Long Beach to go pick up my key from my niece. <laughs> I hope and pray that my day does not continue to go bad. I mean, it wasn't that, it wasn't bad earlier. You know, I didn't have to wait long or whatever. But I sure hope my day don't end up being a bad day. I mean, I had to go all the way over there to go pick up my house key. That's great, ain't it? That's real good, huh? Anyway, I'll talk to you guys when I get in the house. What's up, guys? You guys, I am finally home. Oh, let me tell you. What a morning. <laughs> um, I don't know what time it is. It's whatever time it is. I'm over in a different spot in my living room. Um, just moving things around because my dining room, it's hard to film in there now because I've been moving things around. I'm just trying to get this red place ready to paint. But anyway, I do have a haul from a 99 cent store and from Walmart. So I'm going to jump right into the 99 cent store first and then I will go into the Walmart stuff. So the first thing I wanted to show you guys, um, I thought this was so cute. I'm going to put this in my kitchen, blessed. I thought that was so pretty. You know, my I decided in my, you guys, it's funny. My um, house is going to be like, I don't know, all over the place. My kitchen, I'm going to try to stick to a little kind of farmhousey, a little rustic farmhousey looking or whatever in the kitchen. And so I'm going to put this in there. I love lavenders. I think that's lavenders. Yeah. But I love those flowers. And I have some that are over there right now that I might cut the stems and kind of stick them in there. But I thought, or I might just leave it like it is. But I thought that was so pretty. I got this at 99 cent store for $2.49. And this is, I don't know if you guys can see, this is that little, um, I can't remember what you call this, but that little metal speckles in it or whatever. So that's cool. So you can put something in there. That's really, really cute. I thought that was adorable. And another thing I got, um, I was looking through the plants. A lot of the plants that they had didn't look realistic, but these looked very realistic. And I thought these were really pretty. So um, this is going to go on the line with, um, kind of with my new decor. It's going to be white in here. So I want to have like little white accents with gold and um, just throughout the house. Um, you'll see it when I'm done. I, I'm in the process of getting rid of all this stuff in here. And then um, I want to get new furniture, as you guys already know. I'm keeping my dining room table. Um, I, I like my dining room table. I do want to get a new chair. So I will be getting rid of the chairs. I got to get the bookshelf out of here. I'm going to be getting a new TV. This little... It's just... You guys, my brain is like scattered when I start thinking about my place, but it's like, you know, I got to get rid of things. Um, so anyway, yeah, I got that. I just thought that was really, really cute. It looks realistic to me. It reminds me of a magnolia tree. I don't know the name. It doesn't have a name or anything on it. Um, I did pull the tag off. I don't, mm, I don't know if the tag is still over. Yeah, let me see. 
what the name of it is. Um, it doesn't give a Rodia Jopanica in clay pot. I don't know what Ro, Rodia Jop, Japonica. I don't know what that means. That's what was on there. So whatever, whatever that is, that's what this plant is. And it was $4, which I think it's worth it. Because like I said, they look real. Like they look like a real, um, you know, real leaves. So I thought that was really, really nice. Um, so I got that. Then also I got this kills cold and flu viruses. Um, finally, they have these back in the store. This, um, I believe it was 99 cents. I should have grabbed two. I already have a big thing of Lysol, so that's why I think that's why I've only bought one. Um, I'll probably put this in the bathroom. And I bought, of course, I always grab a box of this um, when I am at the 99 cent store because I use this for my coffee. This morning I had a very, very small bowl of oatmeal. And, um, you know, I put this in that too. I got my Whalers drinks, about three of them. I thought I was getting two of these and I ended up getting this flavor as well. I don't like watermelon. Oh, I don't know why. I, I never check, I just grab like the boxes on the shelf like that and then I don't check through what I'm getting. Ugh. And then I got the Chia bars and they have the little Chia seeds in them. I just had one. Um, these are really, really good. I like these. I just grabbed it. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I did buy some Cheddar Jack cheese. And also I bought some Raisin Bread. Now, with the Raisin Bread, again, I won't have, but um, let's see. One slice is 17 grams of carbs and one dietary fiber. Um, sometimes I'll just eat half of a slice, you know, it cuts them carbs in half and, you know, I, I, I won't eat a whole slice, uh, just to get that taste. You know, sometimes I'll, uh, I'll get the taste of toast or bread or whatever. And so, um, I get that, put a little butter on it, stick it in the oven and just toast it like that. Or, you know, put in the, the, what you call it, my toaster. And um, I'll have that just to uh, suffice that, you know, craving that I'm getting. Then, of course, my trusty peanut butter. Every time I go, I just grab these, stick in the back of the cabinet when I run out. I want to make me some roasted vegetables. So I did get a, what are they? I always forget what these are called, acorn squash. <laughs> so I did get that to roast. And also to roast, I bought some zucchinis. So these are my favorite. Oh, and I saw this in line. It's the Pond's Light Moisturizing Hydrator Leger, Le, 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 Le whatever. Y'all, yeah, my French is horrible, so excuse me. But anyway, yeah, these were in the line when I was walking out. Um, so I grabbed that. You know, in the past years, Mother's Day, I would make little bas Mother's Day baskets. I didn't get to do it this year. You know, we, since Mom passed, it's kind of like I haven't been really into celebrating Mother's Day. I'll go, you know, to her. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just reading a pop-up. I would go to, you know, last year I went to her grave, left some flowers. We're going to do that tomorrow. I was just talking to my, my niece, and she was saying we should go to her grave and have lunch about 2 o'clock, bring, like you know, water and some fruits and, you know, everybody bring a chair or whatever. We just kind of relax and uh, chill over there. But um, she's going to call everybody because they don't know who's planning what with their moms. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Then I went over to um, Walmart to pick up my Walmart haul. And I did pick up another thing of water. I'll probably take this with us tomorrow for our little... Uh, get together at the grave site for mom. So I think this little water is something to take with us. Um, also, I bought two of these ground turkeys, the Genio ground turkeys. Um, I might make a zucchini. Um, what do you call it? A zucchini lasagna. I'm not sure. I do have some spaghetti, low sodium spaghetti sauce. 
Um, so I might end up making that. And I did buy a thing of cuties. And yeah, you know, I've been trying to add more fruits and fibers into my diet um, instead of sticking straight to low carb. Um, what I want to do is add slowly back in some, you know, good carbs and, you know, just kind of fibers and stuff like that. And then once I get that down, then I can go back into my um, intermittent fasting. Um, intermittent fasting really worked for me, you guys. Um, I was, since November, I was able to take off 20 pounds, but I have so far to go. I need to take off like 100 pounds. Well, probably not 100 pounds. <laughs> Technically, probably close to 100 pounds to get where the doctor said I should be. <laughs> but realistically, I don't think it's 100 pounds because I don't want to look like, you know. <laughs> but anyway... I'm five seven, five seven and a half sometimes. <laughs> so uh yeah, the weight that they want me to be at, I would I don't think I look good at that weight. Um no salt tomato sauce, which the cans are all bumpy. I don't know why they gave me a jacked up can that's all dented, but it's uh no salt and I bought two of them, Hunt's tomato sauce. So that is um what I will be seasoning up to use for my um, pasta, uh, my zucchini. And I bought three of these. You guys, this is my go-to, my little low-carb tortillas. I love these so much. The carbs are, um, you know, I probably already told you guys. Oh, the carbs count on this one is five on the tomato sauce. Sodium is 15. The total carbs is five and the dietary fiber is two. So it's only three grams of carbs, which is very, very good. And I could just add all my seasonings and stuff there to bump it up. I'm, you know, roast some garlic, um, put that in there, um, you know, grill some onions, throw that. You know, I really do, you know, I, I doctor up my sauces to make them, you know, a good sauce. So anyway, the tortillas, they are... Um, Oop, upside down the 16 grams and their dietary fiber of 11 so that is five grams per one so i bought three packs of those in each pack i believe it's eight so that is one of my go-to's i like to make um you know those are good if you're on a low carb and you want to make like a breakfast burrito um i'm thinking about this week make pre-making some bre breakfast burritos that way all i gotta do is just heat them up go in there take it out of the saran wrap and you know put it in the microwave or whatever i don't know how that's gonna taste maybe i'll make like three because sometimes in the morning it's like you i don't know i and i don't always eat breakfast that's the thing sometimes i'll just have it for lunch have that and then a salad on the side i did grab some more tilapia i do want to try to make tacos don't those look good fish tacos i love fish tacos and uh, let's see then, of course, you guys, I bought some more of these. I keep forgetting to check the 99 cent store. They had the lemon ones the other day. These are $1.20. I thought they were a dollar. The last time I talked to you guys, I said they were $1.67 or something like that. No, they were $1.21. So I did get um, did get my grape this time. I mean, my um, grape. Blueberry this time because last time they gave me strawberry because they didn't have any of these. So I got that. I got the mixed berry. I got two of the, two of the blueberry. I got mixed berry. I got strawberry. Strawberries weren't that bad. And they're not that sweet, you guys, but sometimes I'll put a, uh, one of the Splendas in there to sweeten it up a little bit. And then they're good with granola in them. And I got a peach. Not a fan of peach either, but eh. Um, I bought some more uh, mushrooms. And I did not realize that I had already ordered cheese. Because these are all pre-ordered through Walmart. So I didn't realize I had already ordered some. But you guys, that is the end of my haul. I think I got it all. I think. Yeah, that's it. That's the end of my haul, you guys. Um, thank you for joining me. Like I said, I'm going to get out and do some Goodwill shopping today. Um, I'm going to put all this stuff up. Um, rearrange my refrigerator. And get out there and do some shopping. As as uh, Thrift Queen says, I'm going to go hit the street. <laughs> I'm going to hit the streets. I'm going to get out there and enjoy my day. Um, it's, it's, 
very overcast here however um california it's you know we it's still nice weather it's warm um it's not that warm i'm not gonna say that it's probably like 70 degrees but um nonetheless it's still nice my niece is in town again from indiana she's gonna be here for i believe 10 days so tomorrow i'm supposed to be meeting up well we're all going to meet up at the grave i'm going to bring some stuff she's going to bring some stuff and i have a picnic basket over there um that i'm probably going to put some fruit in and um figure out other things but i'm going to see if i can get some fruits and cheeses maybe i don't know maybe bring a charcuterie board and i'm just like <laughs> i might bring this table i don't know <laughs> Oh, we'll see you guys. Um, but yeah, we're going to be spending some time over there for, with mom for Mother's Day. I got to get some flowers too. But um, yeah, so it's going to be a nice little Mother's Day. Um, but anyway, I hope I can catch up with her throughout the week too. She's telling me some drama going on over there, you know, training someone that's supposed to be. Uh, anyway, I don't want to be all on here with her business, but they want her to stay. But the person she's training over there... <laughs> She's like, oh gosh, she wants to train and come back. She misses California so much. She's working in Indiana. And, and, you know, I guess when you're born and raised somewhere, you just, I don't know. And that's what I'm afraid of. Every time I go visit another state, I miss my state so much, you know, because we're so used to it here. And you're used to where California, we have everything <laughs> you, there's just so much going on there's so many places to go there's it, the weather is nice you can hang out at the beach you can go to the mountains you can go to shopping and you know it's just there's so much to do and i don't know i mean i guess because there's variety here but like when i go to visit my brother in oklahoma i mean <laughs> I love, you know, and, and I'm not going to lie, I do like going to Oklahoma because it slows me down. It's very slow, very slow. And there's not much to it. Like, I, <laughs> and I'm sure you, a lot of you guys probably live in states like that. I trip off of how you can go to somebody's house and then, or, okay, city. You can go to one city. And then you have to drive down this long dirt road and go over the hill and down two more dirt roads with no, you know, and then you got to hop on the highway to get to the freeway or whatever they call it, interstate, whoever. And then you got to go about 20 minutes up the freeway and then past two valleys and then you're in another city. <laughs> I just, I can't get past that. Whereas here you just, you're in the city, you're, I mean... I, this isn't city city, but it's like you can drive into one city and then go into the next and you don't even know you're going into the next city. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, I'm not saying that's bad or good. It's just, I'm not used to it. Um, and then I'm not so used that everybody's just so spaced out and it's just so, you know, to go to the store, I can hop in my car and go up the street, not even 10 minutes and I can be at TJ Maxx and Marshall's and the grocery store is two minutes away. There's a grocery store two minutes away that way. A grocery two <laughs> store two minutes of that that way. There's the post office, the bank, this, that. Everything is just, you can walk. <laughs> but in other cities, you got to drive so far. <laughs> I don't know. Like when we were in Oklahoma, it was just like, wow. You know, we drove to uh, from Muskogee to Oklahoma City. Boy, was that a drive. I guess it's the same as us, like if you're here going you no, know, because we were on the we were on the free we were on the highway for gosh, was it like three, four hours or something like that? I, you know, and no traffic. That's the thing. Here, I guess it's gonna take you longer because <laughs> we got traffic everywhere you go. Now that's the difference. You go out there and get on that street. It's going to be traffic all the way till you get wherever you're going. And when you're out in Oklahoma, you get on that highway, it's just like, pew, no stopping. <laughs> Non-stop. Yeah, that that I'm not used to because we, we you're going to stop. If you go anywhere in California and you go to a city, you know, that's an hour away, 
it's going to take an hour and a half to two hours. Like here in LA, if, if I don't have any traffic, I can hop on that freeway and be in LA in 25 to 30 minutes. On a work day, if I'm going to like LAX, I can get to LAX from Long Beach in about 25 minutes. If it's a work day, if it's a Monday morning and you're going through traffic, it's going to take two, about two hours to get to LAX. That's the difference. Two hours versus 25 minutes, literally. And so, yeah, it's, it's crazy. And like I said, I'm, I love going to Oklahoma because it slows me down. It's something different. The pace is slower. I mean, I'm bored out there, but my brother, bless his heart, we went out there last time. He he took us through, you know, Tulsa where, um, you know, um, Black Wall Street was. He took us to a lot of like um, historical places. And, you know, we went over to family's house and we went out to eat. And so we did a lot, took us shopping. So we did a lot. He did a lot to to keep us busy. Um, yeah, I, I really commend him. But um, the first time we went, it wasn't like that. The first time we went, it was so boring. Oh my God, it was so boring. I liked visiting that. It was hot. <laughs> it was so hot. Yeah, Oklahoma gets hotter. Well, I don't know. Nowadays, it seems like we're neck and neck because we get 109. One, I think the first time we went, there was 109. It didn't get that hot here back then. Now it does. And that that's kind of scary because you think about it. Okay, that had to be about 20 years. The first 20 years ago, the first time I went to Oklahoma. Yeah, about 20 years ago. And it I don't remember it ever being 109 in California. I don't remember. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. But when we went that time, it was 109. And since then, we've gotten to 109. We've gotten to 110. Uh, it, it's been hot here and, and every year it's getting hotter and hotter. So <laughs> anyway, you guys, I'm babbling. Anyway, I'm going to get out here in a rip and run. So um, I will talk to you guys later. I hope you have a wonderful Saturday and stay productive. Be blessed. Bless someone else today. And I will talk to you later. Bye.